We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the St. Louis Cardinals. The Yankees enter the day with their winning streak at 10 games. They'll try to extend it next. Miles Michaelis gets the start for St. Louis in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy is one of the better pitchers in the league, and one stat that jumps out, take a look at that strikeout-to-walk ratio. That's about as good as it gets. And look for him to dominate in this one. Stepping into the box, Brett Gardner. And we are set for baseball here this evening. The center fielder, Brett Gardner. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Strike one to start the at-bat. First pitch, 716. Nope. A ball and a strike. And fellas, we take a look at the Redbirds entering play here tonight. They come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Matty, these players got in their cars today to drive to the stadium focused on one thing. Not who was going to be the hero, just the fact that they needed a W and that one of their teammates, whether it's them or someone else, has to come up with a big knock. into the corner and slicing foul. Game time temperature, a comfortable 76 degrees. He'll try again, one, two. Hit to third. Carpenter is there. And there's one gone to start the night. That second. The cooktop. Labor. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up Glaber Torres. First delivery to him on the way. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. That is third. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron. Good. Digging in now for the Yankees, Aaron Judge having a very nice year, currently second in the American League in batting average entering play. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. Nope, the and ball. a ball one and oh. So let's take a peek at our umpire and crew in this one. Working the plate is Larry Bullard. Hey, d -Row, Larry Bullard, he's pretty much right down the middle. You see very few managers and players getting into very many confrontations with Larry. Yeah, Larry lays in the weeds, Dan. Doesn't try and make it about him, and that's what the players love. He's got a pretty consistent strike zone, and he's approachable. Two out, nobody on. Now a drive by Judge. Deep left field. O'Neill has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Bombers. And now the Cardinals get their first shot at it here. No score. Garrett Cole, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Kind of a strange outing in his last one, Matt. Was able to pitch into the sixth inning. Wasn't able to complete the inning. It kind of got away from him in the sixth. It'll be interesting, Matt, to see how he bounces back in this one. Now with the play, Colton Wong. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The second baseman, Colton Wong. Here's the pitch. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, all you can really say is they've been on one heck of a run. 
Maddie, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. And the throw will be too late, so it's a bun single to get him started here. Batting set. The right field. Dexter. Fowler. Here's Dexter Fowler now, as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. His career line against Garrett Cole. He has seven hits in 31 tries. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. Line drive to center field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Dan, after that base hit right there, we're talking about two full weeks of finding a way to be productive and get a knock. Good to think about that. You think how hard it is to get a base hit in a, in a professional baseball game and for him to be able to do it 14 consecutive days in a row. As a pitcher, you have to just tip your cap to this guy. The next to bat for St. Louis, Paul Goldschmidt. He'll look to pad that RBI total a bit here as he enters play eighth in the National League in that category. Well, he's right in the prime of his career, and clearly that is resulting in big things for him. First pitch coming, here it is. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Well, he's in a bit of hot water in this first inning, but if he can start throwing his slider effectively like that, he has a lot better chance of settling into this game. One strike now from Cole. That's, a ball. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Wong on third. Fowler stands at second, no outs. On a line, that's a base hit in the left field. And the runner from second is in to score. It's a 2-0 ball game. Hey, one of the things you want to do, Bro, cool. is strike early. And they've done just that with a big hit driving in, too. Yeah, Dan, great to grab an early lead right there, especially when you can throw up a crooked number for your pitcher. Here's Matt Carpenter as he'll take a look at ball one. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. 17 home runs and 43 RBIs. The 1 0 delivery. Nobody out, runner on first. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Working for the punch out and the offering. <laughs> Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him, and watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. So Paul DeYoung digs in next. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. The average not so hot, down at 210 for the season. 11 home runs and 44 RBIs. The 1 0 misses for the second ball. DeYoung, it's a strong defender playing up the middle in the infield. He's got great hands, good range, the big arm, and those skills are not lost on his teammates, his coaches, or his front office for that matter. Yeah, he has the ability. What I love about this ball player, he's got such a great internal clock. It seems like it's bang bang at first every time, but the guy's out. He's got sure hands and an accurate throwing arm. He's set. Here's the 3 0. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike.
the 3 1 fouled off. Runners on first with one down. He loses him on ball four. Wow, he's looking awfully shaky to start this game, guys. That's three hits and a walk, and there's no doubt that he's fighting himself right now. See if he can get this train back on the rails here. Now at the plate, Yadier Molina. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. From the stretch. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Some people in the crowd don't like that, but believe me, he did not want to hit a guy in the first inning. We'll see if he can regain his control or if his control becomes an issue. Digging in, Tyler O'Neill. And there you see his righty lefty splits and how they've played out so far this season. Here comes the first pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Still only one out in the inning. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to one and one. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Now the one and one pitch. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Cole, or the Cole train, as he's frequently called. This is year one of a new nine-year deal that he signed recently, so it looks like he's here to stay for a long time. Slider is way low, but a good job there to knock this one down. Here now the 2 2. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Bases are loaded with only one out. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. Man, when you're trailing, you hate to give up any runs, but walking one in is especially painful. Now the lead is extended, and a base hit could blow the lid right off this thing. Coming to the plate now, Lane Thomas. And a great chance here for the Cardinals to add on in just the first inning. He's set and the pitch. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. I think this inning could have far-reaching effects in this game. They're really making him work. And unless he dials it in, it's probably going to limit how deep he goes into this game. The 1-0 is in there for strike one. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. The 1-1. Two balls, one strike. To me, it looks like he just doesn't trust himself out there on the mound. It's like he's fighting his body on every pitch, and as a result, we're seeing a lot of balls from him early on in this game. Now the 2-1. He's hey. taken for strike two. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. Batting done. 
Now to the plate, the pitcher, Miles Michaelis. Another first inning RBI opportunity for him here. Full sets. Here's his offering. Even though we're still in the early going, I think this game's at a tipping point right now. They've got a chance to put this game out of reach, but if they can't score anymore here, the other guys feel like the door's still open. The set and the 1 0. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. The set and the 1 1. Takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. He's got a chance to ring up back to back case here, and that would be huge in this situation. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. So all in all, they're fortunate to give up just three in the inning as they wind up escaping the bases loaded jam. One inning in the books here. It's the Cardinals three and the Yankees nothing. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Gary Sanchez. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Hard hit ball to short. Oh, look at the sliding stop. It's in time. That is it. The left fielder, Mike Talkman. Now batting, Mike Talkman. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The pitch. Hey. And it's the outside corner. It's strike one. Tuckman stands 6 2 as you see him in the left handed batter's box. He was taken in the 10th round back in the draft of 2013. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. The 1 1. Popped him up. Molina over to his left and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. That is it. The second baseman. DJ Lamezzi. Here's the second baseman DJ LeMahieu and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Now here's the pitch. In on the hands a bit with the fastball, it's one and oh. Now, pitch runs in on him here, and all he can do is flare one foul off to the right side. The one one home hit hard to the right side, foul. Hit softly down the line at first, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Pitch on the way. Line towards center field. That gets down and the inning continues. So good work on a one and two count to get on base. Well, this was a good start for the that's pitcher. That's First five guys, five up, five down. But yeah. the number six hitter proved to be a little bit more difficult, and that's a bullet hit. Yeah, absolutely right there, Dan. Just a nice A-B by the six-hole guy after watching his first five brethren take a seat. Here's Miguel Andujar now. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. The average sitting right at 270 on the year. 13 home runs and an even 40 RBIs. The 0-1 on its way. 
This is skied out toward right. Fowler giving chase. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. One left for the Yankees. They trail it here three to nothing. Back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up Colton Wong. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Fastball over the outside, but in there for a strike. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 2. Oh, I love facing pitchers like this. He's leaving nothing to the imagination. Coming to get him some. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. And this is swung on and missed for strike three. And adding insult to injury, that pitch hit him as well. But there's one away. Dexter Fowler. Standing in now, Dexter Fowler. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. And that's into the corner a foul ball in right. One out nobody on. Fowler behind a ball and two strikes. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. He's really on a roll right now on the mound. Back to back strikeouts to wrap up the last inning, and now he started this frame with the same story. Four straight strikeouts in all. Cole gets the sign. Here's the first pitch. An outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Hey, I got to really commend this pitcher right here. Was able to regroup in between innings. Something happened in the dugout because he's on point coming out for the second. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. Wow, that's four straight K's. He's knocking them down. He's looking for number five right here. You can tell this guy on the mound, he is pitching with a whole lot of confidence in this one. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. Classic strikeout pitch right there on 0-2. It's the one we know he loves going to, but great recognition to lay off in that spot. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. To short, hit hard. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Cardinals, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Leading off the inning, Luke Voigt, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Voigt. First pitch coming, here it is. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Voigt is carrying around a sparkling slugging percentage up over 500. Obviously a huge threat every time he grabs a bat. That evens it up one and one. Here's the pitch. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. Yeah, yeah, one and two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And now a pitch on the way. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. 
wow this guy's mowing right through this lineup right now but that's what happens when you don't get a chance to see a pitcher very often that's one of the things that are helpful when you're pitching in interleague games it's always a good advantage for the pitcher because the hitters don't get to see that guy very often into the box now Garrett Cole he grounds it sharply to third taken in by Carpenter throw gets him two down The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner, 0 for 1 here in the early going. First pitch on its way. Oh, that's cool. Now the 1 0. Hey. Seared down the first baseline, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one two is looked at for ball number two. Wow, fastball up and in. I'm not sure it was intended to be that far up and that far in, but message sent. Beware. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two seamer, and the inning is over. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They trail in this one, three nothing. Welcome back to Bush Stadium as we send it down to Heidi. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cardinals to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Digging in now will be Matt Carpenter as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. And he squares up on this one, deep to straightaway right. And he'll scale the wall here, and did he catch this? He did! That was a pretty spectacular catch right there. A lot of guys mistimed that jump because they're worried about the wall coming on. But he got it just right and hauled it in. Great stuff. Digging in for his second at bat, Paul DeYoung. Pitch on the way. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. Bases are empty, one man out. Fastball misses inside, it's even at one. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. In there, two and two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, three, two. Full count now. Three, two pitch. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. Well, he's really laboring in the early going here. That's his third walk of the game already. We'll see if he can get it together or if this is just one of those days where he's going to have to grind his way to this start. Yachty Molina digging in now.
Here's the first pitch to him. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. One and one. And here's a slider for a called strike, and he's behind one and two now. Runner at first here, one man out. And a swing and a miss, and another punch out here. Six already, and that's out number two. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand, so they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Into the box, Tyler O'Neill as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. O'Neill, just 24 years of age, he's in his third season as a major league player. Cole Setz coming at him with the 0 and 1. Slider laid off for a ball. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. And there's ball two now. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. The count now at two and two. A runner on first with two away. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. 3-2 pitch. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. One left for the Cardinals. They lead it three to nothing. Standing in, Torres, as we begin the top of the fourth. The shortstop, Labor Torres. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. The windup and the 0-1. Swing and a ground ball to third. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now bad. So with that, let's call on the guys in the graphics department to put up the pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And boy, which of those two numbers leap out at you there? How about the 100? My goodness. Here's big Aaron Judd. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this A.B. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. Boy, Dero, it's about time they got something brewing here. First pitch now single, and maybe okay. now they can start to get some here traffic on the bases. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. Ambush tactics, not always the play. You want to drive that pitch count up and get into that bullpen, but sometimes, desperate times, call for desperate measures. So now to the plate, Gary Sanchez, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Throw over to the bag. Comes set and the 0 1. Here's a late swing and a miss. Strike two. Hey, that's the modern game right now. North south. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the east west we came up playing.
And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that the late bat. action that just the darts at the last minute. Mike. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. In now, Mike Talkman lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Oh one one count. Here's the pitch. Nope. And there's ball one. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. No runs, two hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. The Yanks leave one. Still down, 3-0. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Lane Thomas. He'll lead things Cole. off against Garrett Cole. Way. First delivery to oh, him on the way. Well behind that fastball, oh, it's a swinging yeah. strike. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was one so ball, late on right. that first pitch heater. One ball, one strike to count. Now the one and one pitch. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. Looking to punch him out again. The pitch. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. A lot of indecision there on that check swing. That's something you see quite a lot on three and two. When the difference between striking out and drawing a walk in can be an inch or two, it's pretty understandable why guys aren't always aggressive with their swings. And they start him out with a slider. Good spot, but he doesn't get the call. 1-0. Up top, it's 2-0. Can't fall behind against the pitcher. Need to minimize pitch count against the easy outs, and this is certainly one of them. Now Cole's delivery, 2-0. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. Three runs, three hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. To two and two now. Now the pitch. Oh, and he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. Well, he's really rolling now on the mound right now. Second All you have to do is look at the last four hitters for evidence. All four of them have gone down on strikes, as you're seeing here. That's not easy to do, so you know he's got to be pretty dialed in out there. Here's Colton Wong now. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. 
He's working on a one for two game so far. Cole gets the sign. Here it comes on 1 0. He may be down 2 0 after those first two pitches in this AB, but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They did miss by a whole lot, so it's not like he's all over the place. 3 0 to him now. Here it comes. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two out base runner. The batter, the right fielder, Victor. So a runner at first with two away, and that'll bring in the switch hitting outfielder, Dexter Fowler. Now a throw over and a dive, but he's back in. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ball one, no strike. Two out with the man at first. Throw over to the bag. Runners back. Boy, that fastball is just sizzling up there. One and one. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. On a good pitch there. Had him stretching to get out there. And it's two and two now. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off-speed stuff like sliders, breaking balls, and change-ups. But the chase effect. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Cards leave one, but they lead it 3 nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs, so the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Thank you, Heidi. The second base. And that sends D.J. LeMayhew into the box. A base hit in his first trip. The pitch. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. Oh Here's one that misses high. It's 1-1. One and one. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. Here's the pitch. Ball at the side. Throwing the ball great up into this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And we see there that they're currently ranked third best in that category in the NL. Into the box now, Miguel Andujar. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Now the pitch. Count 1 and 0. Oh. 
That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. One out, nobody on. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. High in the air down the right field line. Fowler on the run. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Now batting. The first base. Lose. Four. Striding into the box. Luke Voigt. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. A hey, offense needs to check itself right here. They need to make this starter a little bit more uncomfortable. One strike away from five shutout innings. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Slow roller down the third baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Again, he sends it out of play. The two two one more time. Oh, what a stop. The throw to first. Got him. The defense on display on this beautiful diving stop at short. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Bottom of the inning now. And set to go is the veteran first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Now here it comes. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. In tight, awfully tight, two and oh now. Two balls and a strike to the St. Louis leadoff hitter. Great job of doubling up with a fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Gardner going back to the track. Boom goes the dynamite. a solo shot here for Paul Goldschmidt. 29 home runs for him on the year and with it the Cardinals have increased their lead 4 to nothing. Well if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings sure but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in the game. Late now, Matt Carpenter. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. 
He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. The wind up and the 0-1. Well, I'll tell you, if he wants to turn things around, that pitch is one he's going to have to start locating a lot better. Now the one and one pitch. And right into the shift. And he'll step on first himself for the out. The batter number 11. Good job. Paul DeYoung. Now at the plate, Paul DeYoung. It was a walk in his last trip. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. Breaking ball drops right in the chute for a strike. He's been getting lit up all game, and there's a common denominator. He keeps missing right down the middle of the plate. Case in point with that last one. DeYoung in an 0 2 hole here. Obviously, he's not fatiguing whatsoever. Still in the mid to high 90s with his fastball. These guys got to stay on the attack if they're going to have a chance. The next 0 2. Count is 1 and 2. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's fouled away. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. This inning didn't get started the way he'd hoped with that home run, but I've got to give him credit for flushing it and coming back here to get strikeouts on the last two guys. He's acting like it didn't even happen before. Here's the catcher, Yadier Molina. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. And here in just the fifth inning, this will be pitch number 100 here. Boy, pitch count up near 100 right now, d -Row. And this is when you try to get to a good starting pitcher. Right now, it looks like he's running on fumes. Yeah, the manager's got to get a couple people up in the bullpen right now. One ball hits the gap. They get runners in scoring position. This game could be out of commission. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. But the cards add on just a bit, courtesy of this solo home run. We're through five innings here tonight. It's now 4 0 St. Louis. Gio Urshela will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Number 29, Gio Urshela. Lined in to right, a base hit. Hey, guys, I like the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and drove a line drive base hit. Here's Brett Gardner now. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one, mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. Hard hit ball to second, taken in by Wong. The second for one, on to first, a double play. Now batting, the cooktop, Labor, four. Two away now in the Yankees' sixth, and that'll bring up the exciting middle infielder, Glaber Torres. First pitch on its way. 
Outside, that's the ball. This year against right-handed pitching, Torres carries a batting line a little over the 260 mark. The 1-0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Well, obviously somebody was hooting with the Owls last night. This entire roster, they've showed up for the first game of this road trip and are getting absolutely boat raced. Hit softly on the ground to third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Yankees. They're down 4-0. Jonathan Holder enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. At the plate, Tyler O'Neill will lead off for the Redbirds here in their half of the sixth inning. Tyler O'Neill. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Well, that's off the plate. The 1-0 home. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Judge will wait on it. One down. The center fielder, number 35. Way. Thomas. Ready for another shot now. Lane Thomas. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. The wind-up and the 0-1. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. Popped up. And Duhar has a play. And that's the second out of the inning. The back. The pitcher. Michael. Michael. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Miles Michaelis. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. First delivery to him on the way. Nope. A ball of no strikes. And facing right handed pitching so far this season, Michaelis is hitting better than 200, which is really pretty exceptional for a pitcher. Yeah, Matty, he's well aware of it. Runners in scoring position, that's where you need to be on your game. He's just expanded the zone entirely too much in these situations. Cardinals pitcher up there with a one and two count. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Two out, nobody on. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. But they're in front, four to nothing. set for the start of the inning and next it'll be the outfielder Aaron Judge it doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings down by a bundle it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one weak grounder down the line at third and the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now back, Pepper, Gary, So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Gary Sanchez. He's grounded out and struck out in his two trips to the plate. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. Fastball way off target here, and it's even at one.
One out, nobody on. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. So a full count now. Now the payoff pitch home. High and deep to straightaway right. Back goes Fowler, still ranging back. A leap at the wall by Fowler, but he'll come up empty. It's a home run. It's a solo shot here for Gary Sanchez. 24 home runs for him on the season. As they get on the board, it's 4-1 to one now. When this one left the bat, I thought it was going to be an easy out to right. But it just kept carrying and carrying. And the right fielder gave it a great effort and almost brought it back. But no dice. The bat. To the plate now, Mike Talkman. Mike. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. Around second now and headed for third. The relay throw, but he is in there with a triple. Yeah, first a home run and now then back. a triple. Second and if three. the pattern holds, the next hitter will rope a double to bring another run home here. We shall see. Into the box now. DJ LeMayhew. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. And this is going to get down. Extra bases, and they're starting to make some inroads here. When this thing left his bat, I started thinking it might have enough to get out of here. Didn't quite carry enough, but it does one hop the wall off the track, and he cruises into second with an RBI two bagger. You'll take that every day of the week. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar as he can't catch up on a fastball to letters and it's strike one. Hey, it's always key getting early strikes in account. This guy's been awesome at it so far. More than 70% of his first pitches have been in the strike zone. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked a guy up with it. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. The one-two. Skied into straightaway right. Fowler has a read on it. Two gone. Now batting the first base. Voigt. Coming to the plate now, Luke Voigt. He was a ground out victim last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. In there, 0 and 1. This year against right-handed pitching, Voigt is a batting line residing in the 230s. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with the batting average on the season, but he's found a way to get on base north of 350, working walks with an unbelievable eye at the dish. Behind 0-2 now. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. 
The Cardinals lead it 4-2. to two. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Colton Wong. First pitch coming, here it is. Double-barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2-0. Shot to second base and handled for the first out. Now batter, the right fielder, Dexter Fowler. Stepping in, Dexter Fowler. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Seventh inning here at the ballpark. 4-2 our score. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Here's the pitch. A bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first will get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. And that brings up Paul Goldschmidt. He's two for three and looking for more here. First offering on its way. Ball one, no fight. Bases are empty here with two men out. And 2-0 oh as this one's taken low. Talk about certain guys in the lineup that you want to be really careful with. This guy right here is one of those, and you can tell he's pitching awfully cautiously. The 2-0 oh on the way. Hit on the ground out to short. Torres brings it in. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Down in order go the Cardinals. But they still lead this one four to two. Jordan Hicks has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 12. Jordan Hicks. Giancarlo Stanton is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1 and 0. Oh. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250. 27 homers and 66 driven in. In there, one and one. Here's the pitch. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Giancarlo swings, and this ball is hit well into left field. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to left. 
as it's trimmed to a 4 3 game now. Well, this guy's been unhittable all year, but eventually you knew somebody would get to him. That's the first home run he's given up all year. But like all good relievers, he has to have a short memory and put it behind him. The center field, number 11, Brett. Into the box, Gardner. Brett Gardner. Just gets a piece of it, strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. One pitch. One ball, one strike. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Now the 2 1 pitch. Yanked on the ground down the line. Taken in by Goldschmidt. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. The Cardinals are into their bullpen now as there are the final numbers for their starter. And he was really in command on the mound throughout the evening. Matty V, really a solid performance. Seven strong innings pitched in line for the win. Needs some help for the bullpen to close this one out. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 0 1 pitch. A swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2. In my opinion one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because yeah. of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge as he rips it on the ground to second. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. The Yankees claw back a bit thanks to the home run. On now to the bottom of inning number eight. It's the Cardinals four and the Yankees three. Tommy Kingley is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 48, Tommy Kingley. Ready now, Matt Carpenter. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. I think he's forgotten about sometimes Matt Carpenter when we talk about the best hitters in our sport. I think he's one of the more underrated offensive players. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Ready with the 0-2. It looked like the fastball got away from him there. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Another 1-2 delivery. 
Oh, and they pulled a string on a good changeup there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Tight game here. 4-3 our score 11. as we take the opportunity to compare the performances turned in by the two starters. So that brings in the power hitting middle infielder Paul DeYoung. A couple of walks for him thus far. First pitch of the at bat. Off the plate, ball one. Obviously, the game plan wasn't to let this guy beat you right here. He's already walked twice, and that pitch out of the zone tells me they want nothing to do with him. The 1 0. Drilled on the ground is short. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. Uh, that's got to be frustrating for the pitcher right there. He's well aware of who's that's having great seasons four. and who's having the tough yeah, seasons yeah. at the plate for the opposition. Oh, this guy put him in the tough season bucket, and he just gave up a knock to him. Standing in now, Yadier Molina, as he'll oh, take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. stretch he's running and he popped him up long run for the left fielder and no one will track it down the 1-1 one, one. that's ball three count is two and one down the left field line and deep and this is going to get down it's a foul ball he's set here's the 2-2 he struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game it's been a rough night at the yard for him that's three times he's gone down on strikes in this one so they've really figured out how to attack this guy at the plate, Tyler O'Neill into center field, line drive base hit. Cutting it close here, but he comes through in the eighth to extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he was staring at his last at bat right there. Probably his last at bat. Would have been tough to get him another A-B in this one, but he's able to get it done. Hey, better late than never. And I'm sure when he walked into that batter's box right there, he's thinking, this very well could be my last A-B of this game. So if I'm going to keep this streak alive, going to have to do it right now. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. 4-3 our score here as we play the eighth. Hits this one hard the other way. Loved by LeMayhew. On to first, and the Redbird rally goes for naught as that ends the inning. Hard strand a couple, but they hold on to a 4-3 lead. the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Giovanni Gallegos takes the ball now in inning number nine looking to close the door. Now pitching and batting in the eighth number 65 Giovanni Gallegos now playing center. All set to start the ninth in this one and now it will be the catcher Gary Sanchez. Tough situation down one here on the road trying to score off one of the game's top closers. They've got the work cut out for him. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. 
A great job pounding the zone strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, you got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now. 0 and 2. Man, it's a pitcher you have to love pitching 0 2. Multiple ways up, down, in, and out. Throw the breaking ball. A lot of different ways to get guys out. Fouled away. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. I love the fact that the hitter was able to foul that pitch away. I always thought with two strikes, you give the pitcher that inside part of the plate and you do your best to cover away. Here it comes, 0-2. And, and there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Line to the right side, but that's a foul ball. And a good pitch here, but this is taken for a ball as the count moves to two and two now on the Yankee catcher. And now pitch on the way. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. So striding in, Mike Talkman. He made it to third on a triple in his previous appearance. First pitch coming, here it is. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Oh, I'm set with the 0-1. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Here it comes on nothing and two. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Well, you have to feel pretty confident about the way this one's going to end up as a manager. Two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer. There's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. Trying to pick things up where we left off. D.J. LeMayhew. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Gallegos is about as stingy as they come in terms of a bullpen arm. He's proven very difficult to hit, and it's a rarer thing still to see multiple hits against him. Yeah, Matty V, and you wonder why it's so hard to score off of this guy. He's nearly impossible to get three or four hits in an inning to score a run. He keeps his walks per nine inning is it really down, and you look at his hits per nine innings pitch, it's no wonder why this guy's one of the top relievers in the game right now. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Time to narrow your focus up there at the plate. In a one-run game, 
He doesn't want to walk it, so there's a good chance he's going to get something to handle right here. Two out, nobody on. And this is swung on and missed, so now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Last chance for the Yankees. Full count still. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Hot shot down the line. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Fouled off. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Sliced hard on the ground. Throw to first will be in time to record the final out, and the Cardinals have taken the opener here at home as this ball game is over. Always nice to get the first game of the series, but even more so when it's in front of the home crowd. It seems to energize everybody the rest of the series. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. The Cards hosted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Miles Michaelis earns his sixth winning decision in this one. Garrett Cole racked up 12 strikeouts but still ends up taking the loss. Giovanni Gallegos earns the save out of the bullpen, his 32nd of the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show.